Hi, this is Beth, and I'm going to do a unique fiber lash mascara tutorial. Um, it comes in this great hard case. I use the cases later to put my eyeliners, my pigments, whatever. They're great for travel. You have two tubes. One's tall, one's short. This one is transplanting gel, or basically mascara. This one special mascara but this one is the fibers and I'm going to show you we also have this amazing wand and it is not like any other wand I I can assure you there are a lot of fakes out there it is not as good as ours so mascara green tea fibers see there we go two tubes three steps first step don't pump swirl and then wipe off the tip it's also good to wash your mascara wand I usually do that about at least once a week and I just use a little shampoo alright I am going to do a full coat tip to bottom just like you would your regular mascara don't freak out if you get mascara on your face I actually got a little bit right there. I'm going to show you how to take care of that. So, mascara. And you can actually loosen your fibers up a little bit by rubbing on. You don't have to, but if you, if they're, they seem to be getting a little not so fluffy. You can also put the whole tube, make sure it's sealed real good, and sit it in a cup of hot water. And yes, it works. There. What do you think? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. While I let that sit for a couple seconds, I'm going to go down and do the bottom lash. And this is a great technique. I don't care what kind of mascara you use. Squint your eyes. It helped. Pull your lash away from your bottom, and I'm still going to get it. I have like grossly long lashes on the bottom. They're probably longer than my lashes on top. That's how crazy they are. But that's okay, because I'm going to show you how to fix all that without having to stop and rub and smudge. Because I am telling you, oh, I really got it. There you go. So I'll be able to show you. I am telling you, if you do this while it's wet, you're just going to smudge it all over, mess up all your foundation makeup, have to redo that. It is, it's a total pain. So we are going to learn, woo, I really did it that time. So we're going to show you how to do that. Okay, next, I have got the mascara again. So I went gel, fibers, gel. And ladies, don't forget to seal the top of your lashes. Why? Because even if you're not using my mascara, your eye makeup falls on top and it shows up for people who are taller than you are. Yes, it does. I promise you. People who are shorter than me, I see it. Oh, you just heard my special tool. This is how I curl my lashes. And it's also how I get that dry so I can get it off without messing everything up. Check this out. Okay. Gel fibers gel. Or, as I like to say, long, short, long. Remember, this one, it's got twice as much in it because you're going to use it twice as much. I can do more coats, but I'm just doing the one for now. And this is another tool of my weapons of lash construction. It's an eyelash comb, but not just any eyelash comb. These are metal bristles. I have had them where they have uh, plastic bristles. I hate those. I don't think they do diddly squat, to be honest. So I'm just going to come through. I had one lady uh, tell me that they reminded her. her oh, look, see, I got a fiber. All I got to do is wipe it off. 
they reminded her of when she was in high school and they used safety pins. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, I wouldn't have wanted safety pin that close to my eye. But, you know, look how safe this is. And you don't have to use safety pins. And they are. They are very sharp. And, last but not least, this is how we're going to get this stuff off. Q-tip. Watch. They're dry now. Ooh! Came right off. Look at that. Without taking all my makeup off. As long as it's dry, it just flakes right off. I love, love, love it. Ta -da. There. What do you think? I know it's hard to get a really great angle on this, so I'm gonna look up. Hopefully, hopefully you can see it. Okay. So that is how easy it is to apply. Thanks.